Hi! Today I'll be showing our new movement model and how you can use a template to generate some animations. So I got here a animation made by Raymond Slither and he got a great tutorial. I will link it in the description for how to create pixel art animations. I'm gonna use this as a reference. Uh, so this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna take this character that I generated and uh, use this animation to uh, create my movement. So what I will start off by doing is uh, create a character description that fits my character. A uh, human man with a yellow robe and the animation is running so I'm gonna select run uh, it's a side, the view is side and uh, he's running to the east and a uh, view side means that it's from the side low top down is roughly 30 to 45 degrees and high top down is between 45 and 60 degrees uh, for this, I'll be using init images to show the model uh, the movement, what's happening. And I'll also be using, using have to use the inpainting. In this case, I'm just gonna inpaint all of it. Oh, uh, yeah, before I get started, to help the model, I need to uh, change the colors of the character so that it fits this uh, fits my character so it's easier for the model to understand what is what so for this I'm just gonna I'm just gonna change the color of everything so that it's uh, more similar to what the model will see it has a robe so I'm just gonna do it like that Uh, the upper part is more yellow. Then we have the shoes. Just gonna fix that. Probably easier to just go through like this instead. Then the model will. Uh, take care of the uh, finer parts. I might actually want to do something like this instead just so it's a bit clearer what is arms and what is um, uh, what is the cloak something like that maybe something like this probably do something like that If you don't do this, it's uh, quite it's quite possible that the model will be quite confused by the the colors that doesn't exist in the uh, original image that we're working from. And um, yeah, I mean, maybe we could even just copy paste this into the image instead. You don't really need to be um, too perfect when doing this, but the better the better in it image you have, the more likely the model will uh, do uh, good stuff instead of bad stuff. Okay. This should be fine. So yeah, I'm gonna lower the init strength a bit, just so that the model can do more of more of stuff that they want that it wants to do instead of uh, following the init image. 
I'm gonna try out let's say we can start off with 100 oh. and here you have um, like which layer you wanted to uh, generate into so let's say yeah let's let's select uh, the current layer so it will generate into these images directly which should be fine in this case So yeah, I'm gonna select the layer that I'm gonna, I want the new layer, just so that we can um, look at the before and after, so we can see what's been done and how the model performed. So you can kind of compare here. So here it generated pretty well. And here almost. And in this case, uh, not, re not really. So what we can do is we can uh, discard our generation. And then we can try again, but with a bit higher init image strength. Okay, let's try a bit higher. Quite nice. Then we have the next one. Pretty good. And the last one also quite nice. Not all a bit of the leg is missing, but it's uh, quite decent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to extend the foot a bit here. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these. Fix some minor detail, maybe. I think could be better. And then we can use this new one. Generate again. Now that I'm a bit more happy with the uh, output, I will increase the init image strength a bit more because I want even smaller changes. And uh, yeah, let's do a new layer. Okay. Quite nice. 
So let's delete the old one. And then we have one image left. So what we can do here is that if we start from here instead, we will be using, and then we can uh, remove the inpainting from these. So we won't be changing our the images we just generated. We will only be changing the, uh, the, the last frame in the animation. What we can also do is we can inpaint a part of the image if you feel like ah this could be better so maybe we actually see like ah this this foot right here I think that the model could do a bit better so I'm gonna inpaint that and then you can see here in the um, images so the foot here will be changed and this whole image will be changed and I'm gonna lower the strength a bit maybe to 300 because it worked before, and yeah, let's uh, let's do it. So here we expect to see changes in the foot. Um, we can see some changes. Let's, I don't know if I think it's better, and then here we can see uh, lots of changes. Okay. And let's delete this. And this and this. Okay. Alright, let's just take a look and see what it looks like. Alright. Looking quite decent. But it seems like these arms are uh, a bit to the same. We want this arm to be behind and this arm to be forward. So to fix this, I still want this foot to be better, <laughs> so I'm gonna keep the inpainting there. But I'm also gonna inpaint uh, the arms. So in this case might be good to uh, change a bit in the uh, in the init image here just to help the model a bit so for that I imagine we would uh, probably have this arm somewhere I'm just gonna think about this yeah so this arm should be somewhere around this area I think and this arm will be roughly about here but we want it to be in the background so maybe if we change the color here and then make this part brighter the model might have a better idea what's in front and like behind. All right. And for this, we probably don't want to remake the whole image, but instead we probably just want to give this guy a bit more uh, thickness. It's a bit thin at the moment, so we could probably just fix that a bit. Uh, this could probably be a bit darker color. See, and then we will inpaint everything that we changed. Oh yeah, I should probably have a a bit healthier neck as well. So let's uh, let's help him out a bit. Okay. Maybe that's actually a better color. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, generate again and 
for this. We're kind of happy with what's underneath, so we will increase the init image strength because we don't want to change too much. Alright, we got a uh, pretty happy with this generation. I got a bit better. So let's just fix it slightly, move the alpha diff artifacts. Um, Pretty good. Got some more artifacts here, so let's just remove that. Maybe give him a bit more to his back. Maybe just do some small, small edits, small improvements. Always nice. And then we can. Once more, generate upon this just to get that finishing touch. And then we should be pretty much done here. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. And then we can increase the inner strength even more because we're even happier with what's underneath. And yeah, hopefully this will be our last generation. Ah, uh, I think I'm just gonna. See if I can uh, grab this foot instead, because it's uh, a bit better looking. And maybe it will look too uh, similar. We will see. All right. Nice. You can, I think, arguably you could use the inpainting here to fix the last part of the the hair. Oh, never mind. It was fixed actually. <laughs> it was just the old layer. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess you can do some small cleanups. But yeah, I think this. This is good. You can of course spend even more time improving on this and you can uh, do more frames as well. But I believe this is, is a good starting point. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope you uh, can use this in your future generations to uh, create some amazing animation. Alright, see ya!